Well, hi yeah, over there. Um, the selection of swims a little bit. Uh, well, um, the swim opposite where I was fishing last week. It's got a man in it. There's a day angler in the swim I was in last week. Um, there's another day angler in a swim I was very interested in. Um, I've got a bay here I could fish, and I. The problem is I don't know how long the guy's in it. Um, it's going to stay there for, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, well, simply because when he goes, someone will probably move in here and face me. And I don't really want anyone doing that. But it is it does look tempting. There's a good bit of weed in here. The wind's pushing down, but... No, they do love it, love it in here when the wind pushes down. But look at the weed, you know, it is pretty intense, really, isn't it? You know, you just got to find a hole in that weed and uh, knit everything into it. But yeah, you can sort of, you know, you can, I can rake the front of the swim clear and easily fish some little areas out there. Uh, but yeah, but my uh, favorite. Uh, Gap swim is free. Um, <laughs> being as it's either that, really, or um, down the end of the uh, points to the left of me, which seems silly when this swim is free. Um, I think I'll be mental, really, not to go in it for three nights. So I sort of thought about it, clanged around, wandered around, had a look up there to the end of that point, but inevitable if I don't go in here someone else will so you sort of answer your own question really about where you should actually go so here it is this is where it's going to be me hopefully for the next three nights we'll see how things go I never get too excited about things um, there's a bit of a bit of weed in the, in the lake right at the front so I've got my breed of weed or my rake I might see if I can get in break some of that out of the front of the swim away don't know if that's going to be possible not sure whether I can get in there and how deep it is but there's only one way of finding out I don't want to be losing fish in that we'll just have to see what occurs really won't we but there we go radio radio ho Alright, so I'm in the swim now, barrow here, but what I am going to do is if I make any rash decisions about precisely what we're up to, I'm quite sure it's say weed free out there, but it's been fished quite recently, several times now, and no one's complained about the weed, so, however, I just want to, I'm not going to stick a grip of lead on, I'm going to strip a sort of, um, hair type lead on. I want to fill the bottom and maybe pick up some weed. Get the lead and the braid rot out, I think. See what I can discover. How well the bottom actually feels out there. I know the marker flows braid, but let's just sort of want to lead around a little bit more. Yeah. where everyone else was fishing last week but it doesn't really uh, I don't know and fish are used to finding that bait in that area see this is the trouble see well, I know they have been because it's been fishing quite well so yeah right. uh, so sort of boot it in that direction 
the more sort of that's the sort of range I felt it felt like sound and landing in, see. Yeah, so that's picked up a bit of weed there. It's not a lot, but a bit of weed. It's still quite clear through there. Hmm. Get more weird closer in, I think. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. A bit silk weird closer in. Yeah. If you're using a little bit of kind of washes and things. Things. See me doing a little bit of that. Right, it's time to start wrapping. Well, I've sort of started it, remember that I haven't sort of done it. So, what have we got then? So, one, two, three. There we go. On the third. This is the range rod. It's not really the range. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 15, 15, right, we can take the 16 because we know what the drop feels like, I think we'll make sure we end up exactly there, so take the 16, and squeak the reel. I thought it was about 16, I'd spawned up, mark it up with a clip from last, last session and the uh, and it's still landing, still landing uh, around about there, which is good, really. So, yeah, that's <laughs> right then. So, that one's ready to go out. I've just done that one. Let's go on there. Uh, let's see what we can do with this one. This one's a little, little short rod, and a little pop up on it as well. And I've gone for the the braid on this one, because I don't know, well, we'll see. So, what we got? It's not very many. This isn't one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we've got nine of a bit. So, nine, one and a half. Yeah, nine and a half. That's roughly my normal spot, that is. Nine and a half. Yeah, a lovely little. Lovely gully, a gravelly gully in between some weed. And that's my wife sort of pop up because I think they're going to be transiting through rather than doing anything else really. So I'm going to go and put the range rod out because that might take a few casts to actually get bang on. I think we'll see where we where we go really. But yeah, so. I might take a few little casts to get right that might, but we'll see how we how we go. Uh, it's got to be really, got to be quite accurate this one has, because otherwise it ends up in quite um, quite hard silt. Just the left of it is a lot softer and nicer, so I've got to get it really, really accurately. Not like that, I won't. A nice little weed bed in front of me, which I hope is not going to cause any problems. Um, it sort of protects me from floating debris blowing in, like floating weed. So I've sort of 
opted to leave it there at the moment. I think I've been there a few years on and off when I fished here before, so yeah, you just sort of pick up little floating stuff and it protects protects my line. So I've sort of accepted on that. Have that over constant beeping and rubbish on your line. So it's a, one of the other thing really. Good shot, but too far, too far. No, it's not bad actually that one. Maybe that's better than I thought it was. Scoot straight across that. Notice I've got me a uh, NSR net back, so I love using it in this lake. Works really well. Right, come on. Oh, that's better. That's better. Beautiful. Beautiful peach. Absolutely peach. I'm using single banks that separate from each other this time because I want them. I've got to guide them through the <laughs> guide them through the weed beds. Right, let's do it around the side of the weed bed. All right, yeah, let's do this. Good well today so far. I've helped out uh, one of the fellow syndicate members. These well, two fellow syndicate members with fish. And a photograph of one. Uh, yeah, done quite well. Came across someone else that was a uh, uh, right old bird's nest of his braid. And his uh, distant sticks, sorted that out. So it's, it's all good. It's nice. And so I say, a couple of fish on the bank as well. It was good. Fish during the day, seeing them on the bank during the day. The drive around, a couple of chats, a couple of chats with other people as well. Uh, yeah, so sort of. Done all that. It was nice to do all that with everybody. So I'm happy with that. What you want to do? Uh, help people out. That's what it's all about. Helping people out, helping your fellow anglers join your surroundings, and yeah. Just doing your thing, really. So, going for a pop up. Um, it's going to be quite nailed to the ground, to be fair. Um, I like these pop ups to sit, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, yeah. A little bit of silkweed coming from this rod a couple of times, so. And sort of close around a bit, and it's oh, a bit of an interception route, really. Sometimes we're passing through it, so it's sort of something sticking up a little bit just to let their appetites. A little other than that, it's supposed to be rain half most of tomorrow, sunny today, so there's some entertaining conditions over the next couple of days. So, yeah, I haven't got the winter skin, so I should buy out of this leaked in monsoon weather like it did before. See what we can do. See what we can do. That the old sound's on. I keep getting it, but it isn't trying to potty. Alright, I don't need my finger stall on this one because it's literally. What did I say? Nine and a half. Sixteen and nine and a half. So if I unplug my phone, I've got to remember to do. 16 and 9 and a half, write it down, always write it down. Yeah, every single time. Write it down along with what baits on what. As well, because that's how you forget, but middle of the night you forget what you've done. So this has got to be a little gentle flick. Not far enough. Close. Not nearly close enough. Yeah, slightly, slightly left there. I don't think I'll pick this thing up. Well, as you've seen, I've uh, pitched up on Meadow Lake, one of what's called the Gap Swim. Um, I've driven around, I've had a chat with a few people, a few fish coming out, so I stand a good chance, similar to what I did last week. So, only about uh, 
hope that's what occurs again. Um, yeah, surprised to find myself here a little bit really, but then again not. So I think it's, uh, well, it is what it is really. Um, I don't know really. It'll be nice. <laughs> Spend some time in a different area. Different lake for a bit. It does look good out there. It does feel fishy out there. Wind's pushing nicely on this bank and will be again. It's going to do a southwesterly for uh, 24 and a bit hours and then head back my way again. So, uh, I've got one rod quite close in. Um, nine and a half wraps out there and uh, the other one is 16 rods sort of out there as well I haven't gone too far there's a lot of weed around um, not too bad in this area but the last thing I want them doing is um, kiting into the reed bed weed bed and uh, just end up losing something so I'm playing it safe at the moment um, also it's sort of you know with my arm and my back it's sort of like the limit of what I can do I think uh, one of the days of spawning at sort of uh, silly numbers of wraps. You never know, a, a little tiny amount of bait is not a problem really. But uh, anything more than that is clearly a bit too much of an effort really. It hurts too much. It's not worth the aggro. So we're all pitched up here. There's a good bit of rain coming in tomorrow. So we shall hopefully be safe and sound here. Should look good really. You just have to finger, fingers crossed really. Um, yeah. Quite looking forward to it really. It would be nice. Enjoyable. Pitched up. Alright, I shall give you an update as the afternoon and the evening progresses. Take it from there. I need a brew. What I do really need. And some lunch. Well, it's gone seven o'clock, I think. Ish. Something like that. I did actually look at the time before I came out and started doing this, but I forgot what it said. Old age kicking in. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's not a sunset, but that sort of mirror image you get and sort of flat, calm skies and things. Absolutely gorgeous, really. So, yeah, it's nice, really. Quite nice indeed. So, yeah, we're... Well, had a bit of bream action, which is always a bit of a worry, but hey-ho. Not a lot we can do about that. I managed to fall off before I got it into the bank, so I don't have to deal with it, which has its, has its bonus and things like that, so... Yeah, it's not too bad. There's, um, what have we got now on here? I think we've got, um, one, two, three, four, five, maybe, five, maybe six of us. Not 100% sure, so it's not sort of too bad for this sort of place in the night during the week, to be fair. It's like wandering around here a little bit. It's, um, I might stretch my legs because tomorrow apparently it's going to be wet, windy and rainy, which is brilliant for carp fishing, not so good for the uh, chilling out in the uh, walking around the undergrowth and things, I must admit that one of my shoes are getting wet just walking through here, which is surprising really uh, yeah amazing really uh, what they're sort of uh, up to really if someone looks like they're setting up and doing night in there, well this one's over there interesting, oh well but, uh, yeah, so we shall we'll see. It's all very good and things. A mole attack down here. I don't want to go much further or anything. Um, I don't want to be like too far away from the swim, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm a bit naughty this far away, but I don't sort of worry too much when I'm fishing open water and stuff. Oh, you've got the old rose hips there. I wonder if that means there's a bad winter coming. I don't know, really. Who knows? Who knows? The guy I spoke to earlier I came round asking for. I think he wanted to come where I was and uh, couldn't. So I sent him off uh, with some of the fish the last couple of nights and had four fish. So, with this set up there, maybe sort of catch something. It'd be quite good realistically. See people have been using their trolleys across here rather than going through the dodgy gap, really. Yeah, it's nice, all flat, calm, and quiet at the moment. So it's not going to take this uh, for too long, really. Yeah, he's over there sitting out in his chair, enjoying himself. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, I'm just sort of waiting for 
Wait for a little bit past dusk to come and then I want to stick some 20 mils out. So obviously you saw what I've got. Quite sort of small stuff. Actually you might not have seen what I've got. I'll put a photograph on the website. So uh, yeah. And you might not have seen what I've got. I might do a little bit of video about it tomorrow. What's actually sort of like left in there. Uh, but yeah, so it's all sort of mostly small stuff apart from 12 mils. And I kind of sort of mix it up and put a couple of uh, you know a few low, low 20 mils out there as well that's sort of uh, gives them something different a little bit different to feed on and things like that um you know it's uh, uh feel the feeling on sort of like micro stuff and anything like that and there we go um yeah no it looks it's looking all good it's looking all nice i'm quite confident something will rattle off tonight so yeah fingers crossed eh fingers crossed indeed look at that beautiful i'm gonna take a photograph of that <laughs> Right, I shall uh, see you in the night. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, wasn't going to do any more video, but uh, there's a rainbow there. Straight up, straight down. Must be some sort of, uh, well, I don't think it's raining, but uh, must be some uh, water in the air there. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Weird, really. You can actually get something in the... Uh, at night that actually does that or a moon bow would you believe if you don't believe me google it because i've actually uh, I've seen one myself and i couldn't understand what it was but yeah google it and see quite amazing really but there we go right i'll catch you on some lunch <laughs>